You know, you have something very special here. You have a mercury-based pressure troll. That means that's a good thing. You can't buy them anymore. So see that little thing. bowl of mercury in there? Yeah, I do see Yeah, it. it's like the old Honeywell T87Fs. Yeah, yeah. Let's If you got one of these in your basement, a steam boiler, then you're going to have one of these, a pressure troll. Think of it as a control for pressure. If you're looking to save money on your heating utility bills for your home and you got a steam boiler, you have one of these. This is called a pressure troll. Okay. The pressure troll works by keeping the pressure in the steam system, you know, the pipes, the radiators, the boiler itself, within a certain range, right? So when this device detects that the pressure exceeds a certain threshold, right, or setting, in this particular case, 2 PSI, it turns off the boiler. So as steam uh, gives up its heat to the house, you know, to the piping, that may or may not be insulated, but as the steam gives up its heat, right, and that steam condenses back into a liquid, the pressure drops in the system and eventually falls below that 2 PSI, which will allow the boiler back to fire again as long as the thermostat is still calling for heat. So, for example, your thermostat is set for 70, uh, it's reading 68 in the home. The boiler will run until one of a couple things occur. The thermostat is satisfied or the pressure troll has reached that threshold. Let's say, for example, you didn't have this, okay? And the boiler has getting a call to heat. So the thermostat is telling the system to run and... You know, the system will run until a thermostat is satisfied or until another safety goes off, for example. But with a residential steam system, you don't need high pressure. You really need half a pound, you know, 0.5 PSI, no more than one PSI. But the issue with these right here is that they usually show a start point of two. So then what do we do from there? right? Well, for starters, we definitely want, we don't want this main set point to be anything over two, because anything over that uh, will result in overproduced steam, which is not only wasteful, you know, but you're, you're using fuel energy, whether it's oil or gas, right? Um, it's being wasteful, right? So you want to properly adjust this, and you don't have to be a rocket scientist or a plumber to figure this out, right? But I've seen many, many pressure trolls that are set well over two, five, even five and a half to seven, seven and a half. A lot of plumbers it can be great at laying pipe and installing systems. But when it actually comes to properly commissioning and doing proper maintenance on a steam system like this, right? They just don't have the experience or the know-how to do the proper job. So if you'd like to save some money, we can make a quick little adjustment on this and you'll see the results immediately. What these don't come with is your screwdriver, but that's okay because most plumbing and HVAC contractors, well, they got them. The problem is, is that most contractors like to only use these screwdrivers to turn this clockwise. The problem is if you turn this clockwise, you're increasing pressure that the pressure troll is designed to control. And that's no good because these steam heating systems, they like low amounts of pressure. We're talking about one PSI, half a PSI. Put things into perspective, the air in your car tires 
35, 45 PSI. That's a lot of pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure when it comes to steam. Whether or not you have a single family house or a skyscraper 100 stories up, you need low pressure. So my advice to you is get yourself a counterclockwise screwdriver, which allows you to turn down the pressure. And guess what? It comes at the same cost as the other type. All right, so now let's talk about the numbers and these two scales that you see. You, say, you see one that says diff or differential and the other one that says main. You're gonna notice that on the bottom of the differential scale, we have diff is subtractive. So if you have this type of pressure troll, you have a subtractive pressure troll. Now, I don't wanna confuse you, but that main scale, the one on the right, is your cut out pressure. You wanna set that scale at one and a half PSI, right? And to get the cut in, you have to subtract the differential from the main. So we're gonna set the differential for one PSI, and this will allow the system to cycle between half a PSI and one and a half PSI, as long as the thermostat is calling for heat. So as long as the thermostat is set for 70, as in this example, and the room temperature is reading 68, the boiler is getting a call to heat. The thermostat is what we call calling for heat. Now you might be one of the lucky few to actually have one of these. This is called a vapor stat. So if you got one of these, consider yourself lucky. This is much more expensive than a pressure troll, and it's also very accurate. It's a very accurate control that senses steam, not in PSI, all right, like a regular traditional pressure troll, troll does, but in ounces of pressure rather than the pounds of pressure. This is the best little present you can give yourself if you have a small steam system. You're gonna to wanna to set the vapor stat cut in to around four ounces, okay? And cut out to around 10. But you need to make sure that all of your steam main air valves are in place, that all of the steam radiator air valves are properly sized, right? Because when you're dealing with ounces, ounces instead of pounds, if you have something wrong, it's gonna make a world of a difference. So that's how you set a pressure troll. Pretty easy, right? Just remember that steam pressure is a function of pipe size, condition, and the steam load. Properly sized boiler, very imperative. The dead men figured this out at the turn of the 20th century, well over 100 years ago. Your job is to make sure whether or not you have a pressure troll or a vapor stat that is properly set. And don't let a knucklehead into your home that doesn't know what they're doing. My name is Mike Dyke. I'm a licensed master plumber in New York, South Carolina, and Florida, and I would love to help you. Virtual consultations are available. You can book an appointment with me online at pipedoc.net. Catch you on the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.